Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A father and son's birthday fishing trip ended in a heartbreaking tragedy after their boat capsized and the two were lost at sea. Constantine Lihu, 43, and Andre Lihu, 11, went on a fishing trip on Saturday for the boy's birthday near Astoria, Oregon, when their boat capsized and the two went missing, according to Fox 8 Live. It was Andre's first fishing trip, and his godmother, Irina Negrian, told the outlet he had wished to go with him, Constantine, for a long time. This was his dream come true, to be out on a fishing boat with his dad, she told Fox 8. The Lehas and three others were fishing on the boat when it capsized near where the Columbia River and Pacific Ocean meet, a rough patch of sea, according to the Colombian. Rescue teams were sent out in search of Constantine and Andre, but they couldn't find the pair. The father and son were nowhere to be found, and the search was called off at nightfall. I don't think we have a lot of hope to find them alive at this point, Negrian said. So, we're trying to figure out the next steps. The Coast Guard managed to pull the other three out of the ocean. One of the victims died on the way to the hospital, the outlet reported. Andre, who went on the trip a day after his birthday, still has his cake in the fridge at home, according to Negrian. It is just a monumental loss, it's an unbelievable loss, the family friend said. Constantine was the sole provider for the family of seven. He leaves behind a wife, Elena Venera, and four daughters, Anna Maria, Daria, Elizabeth and Melanie. Andre was their second oldest. He was the kind of man that if you asked him something, he would move heaven and earth to make that happen, Negrian told the Colombian. The little boy is remembered as being sweet and loving and a little mischievous. The family was very involved in their church, the St. Mary's Romanian Orthodox Church, which has set up a GoFundMe for the family. Their loss and grief are insurmountable. We are collecting funds to help secure the family's immediate and future needs, medical bills, and other expenses, the fundraiser, which has raised $77,545 toward its $250,000 goal, said. Constantine's sense of humor, selfless nature, and unwavering faith in the goodness of God make him one of the most generous, loving, and wholehearted friends any of us will ever know, Florentine Agostin, who started the fundraiser, said. Deeply committed to his faith, always willing to go above and beyond for anyone, a loving father and husband, he leaves behind not only a heartbroken family but an entire community that will never recover from such a loss. The church remembers the boy as bright, funny, and a social butterfly. Andre was beloved anywhere he went, Augustine wrote. Losing Andre at such a tender age has left us all shocked, heart-stricken, and devastated.